But it's cracking, everybody. Welcome back to Blue TV. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified whenever we upload a new video. Appreciate you for stopping in. All right, so recently I put out some Luka Doncic slash Dallas Maverick videos, maybe one or two, that specifically had to deal with the Dallas Mavericks are pure garbage without Luka Doncic. He literally has everything to do with any victory they ever achieve. And the Dallas Mavericks severely need to get Luka some more help. They need another playmaker to take some of that off of Luka, especially when he goes to the bench. And it will allow him to get more rest because there is somebody else that can really create a true playmaker on the on the court. They don't have anybody else that can do that outside of Luka Doncic. All the role players around Luka are extremely inconsistent. A lot of them are streaky shooters that don't bring it every night, aren't hitting every night. Christian Wood was a good addition. He's one of the more consistent ones, arguably the only consistent one. Maybe Dinwiddie to a lesser degree, a much lesser degree. And I like Dinwiddie a lot. But everybody pretty much outside of Christian Wood and Dinwiddie should be completely expendable when it comes to trade talks. Now, it looks like the Dallas Mavericks are going to sign Kimball Walker, who was released from, I think, the Detroit Pistons. And even last season, uh, Kemba was, I think, cut after 30-something games with the New York Knicks, where he averaged somewhere around, I don't know, 13 points, three or four assists, something like that. Anyway, not peak Kemba Walker. We've seen what Kemba can do at the peak of his powers and his prime, but he is not there anymore. And he was also plagued by injuries as well. I guess Kemba Walker is better than nothing, but Kemba Walker is not the answer long-term. Yes, he will help in some areas where the Dallas Mavericks are deficient, but Kemba Walker is deficient himself when you think about it. Uh, you're not getting a prime Kimball Walker here. Kimball Walker is very small. He's extremely undersized. He cannot defend for Jack Diddley. He is a complete matchup nightmare for the Mavericks. <laughs> Anybody else on the other team is fishing for Kimball Walker with the best kind of bait. Reeling that mofo in. Um... So he'll fit right into the, the, the Dallas Mavericks non-defensive ass from that perspective. But his size alone makes the match makes the matchups even more it's just like it's more than a disadvantage. It's more than a matchup problem because of his sheer size. The dude's tiny. Um so this isn't this isn't the answer. It's almost like putting a very a very poor band-aid on an open wound, like a band-aid that's lost a lot of its adhesiveness on an open wound is what this Kimber Walker, Kimber Walker move is. So I hope the Dallas Mavericks are looking at something beyond this as far as trading some of the pieces they have uh, and getting Luka something, something better. But um, I'm not sure, like... Kimba, Kimba Walker, even when he was at the peak of his powers, was more of a scorer than an actual playmaker playmaker. And being that he really can't score like he used to, and his playmaking skills as a point guard, you know, setting people up were never like elite level. I don't know how good this is going to be. You know what I mean? If it, if they were getting somebody that was known for being an elite playmaker, even past their prime, I would feel more comfortable with that. Because if you're that good at playmaking, 
even though you're not elite anymore, your passing is so good that you can still create offense for other people. Like, for example, Rajon Rondo. When Rondo was far past his prime, he could still get in the game and give you 10 to 15 assists if you give him the minutes. Right? Yeah, he really can't score. And he's never been a scorer, but he wasn't able to score like even like he used to on the Boston Celtics. But that playmaking ability, that passing ability, doesn't leave you like the scoring does with age and attrition. So he could still find people. I'd rather have that. But you're not going to get the scorer that Kimba Walker was. And he was never a super elite playmaker. So I, I don't really know how good this is going to be. Um, so that's my opinion on the Kimba Walker trade. I guess it's better than nothing. We'll see how it works. Maybe I'm wrong about Kimba Walker. But I'm just telling you what I was able to observe from his career and how I think this is going to bode for him with the Dallas Mavericks. But, it, you know, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, but I hope the Dallas Mavericks are on the line and still trying to make something work to land something bigger. Make a bigger splash than Kimba Walker, man. Get some of these people out of here. Like I said, Finney Smith could go. Tim Hardaway Jr. could go. Um, what's the guy's name? Uh, Maxi Kleber can go. All them dudes, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think about it. Shout out to all the Luka Doncic fans out there, Dallas Mavericks fans. I want to see y'all succeed, so more power to you. I hope y'all make, make some more moves this season because you're wasting Luka Doncic. You're wasting them. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell. Stay notified, and I appreciate you guys for stopping in. Leave some comments for the algorithm. You know how I do. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, and we out, baby.